Well, praise God and happy Monday, everybody. It's Pastors Alvin and Latoya White of Empowering Word Christian Center. And uh, we are jumping on. It's Monday, February 3rd. So it's the day after the Super Bowl. February 2nd was yesterday, the Super Bowl. And it was Super Bowl 54. And my team or our team that we were rooting for, because we are Chicago Bears fans, mm -hmm. the team that we were rooting for, um, the Kansas City Chiefs, uh, they won. Praise God. Yay, yes, they, they won. And uh, Patrick Mahomes, of whom we have really, really, really grown to love and appreciate, uh, pulled it out. And uh, Patrick Mahomes is a uh, born-again Christian. We appreciate that. You know, in fact, the entire Hunt family, the uh, Hunt family, the owners and of uh, the Kansas City Chiefs, they are born-again Christians as well. So we were really, really excited about that. And I'm sure there's born-again Christians on the other side, you know, the 49ers side. So, you know, unfortunately, they didn't, you know, the outcome didn't come out. But we were rooting for the Chiefs, and so we're excited that the Chiefs won. So um, let's start with the Super Bowl. The Super Bowl 54, um, I thought, um, let's start with, um, what was your favorite commercial? But one thing that I thought, was really, really um, huge uh, that I thought was just really dynamic. Um, the the boy, the uh, take it to the house yeah, kid. Yeah, that was awesome. What did you think about that? Oh, I thought it was uh, it was an awesome commercial yeah. video, how, whatever the technical term is. Yeah. But just seeing that and watching that, you know, I kind of had to hold back the tears. Man, um, watching that, yeah. so it was, um, it was inspirational. It was just awesome to see all those those kids doing that. Yeah, and, so they obviously had a commercial, right, where they taped it, and um, you know, they had they had tons of celebrities mm -hmm. in it and players and former players and active players in mm -hmm. it right now, and so they had that going on. And then all of a sudden, it's, so I thought, this is what I thought, you know, watching that, you know, you think it's just a regular commercial. I thought, okay, he's going to take it to the house and he's going to score the touchdown. You know, that's mm -hmm. what taking it to the house means. And so I thought he was going to score the touchdown. So then he keeps on running. So I'm, I'm more intrigued. Okay, he keeps on running. And so now you got these other celebrities and these other mm -hmm. players joining in and former players. So now I'm more intrigued. Like, what's going on? Really, what's, what's happening? And so it just keeps going and keeps going and then they showed um uh mccaskey you know the daughter of um uh, george hallis you know they yes, show yes they show they show her giving the ball to to the kid and then all of a sudden you see him running out and it's it's the real, real. stadium yes um you know super bowl 54 you know, and uh, he's running out with all those kids, yes. and he gives that's the ball. That was the ball. That, that was, was the, the game ball. ball. That was the game mm -hmm. ball, and he gives it to the ref. I thought, boy, that was yeah. brilliant. That yes, was, was that was really really brilliant. What an experience for them. Y yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh, to be the kid, you can never yeah, leave. They'll never forget. They'll, they'll never, never forget, forget that. I mean, yeah. he can never. Man, they'll never forget that. I mean, that could go. I mean, that could go with them for life. I mean, mm -hmm. it will go with them for life. Mm -hmm. That you were the kid, and the rest of the kids that ran out on Super Bowl Fifty Four um, on that uh, on that uh, you know that commercial and that presentation. I mm -hmm. thought that was beautiful. Yes, it was beautiful. I thought that was beautiful. Mm -hmm. What was your favorite commercial? Let's see. Uh, my favorite commercial. There were so many of them. Yeah. Um, I'm not for sure my favorite commercial. Um, yeah. You know, they had some commercials out there, I thought. I thought they were good commercials. Yeah. Uh, they ran the Tide commercial through the whole thing. I thought that was pretty clever. They ran the Tide commercial through the whole thing. Um, I, I, you know, I, I thought some commercials were good. I thought some commercials were not good. Mm -hmm. I thought some commercials were not good. Mm -hmm. Um uh there yeah, there were some commercials that weren't good. I thought there were some commercials that weren't good, but I thought um I thought there were some that were good and uh what did you um yeah, you know, you know I'm, the one with Aquaman was funny. The Aquaman commercial was yeah. good. The Aquaman commercial was good. How about MC Hammer making a comeback? That was funny. 
<laughs> that was um, funny. Yeah, I mean, MC Hammer getting paid. I mean, that that's funny, yes. you know. We grew up in the yes. you know, 80s so and early 90s. So it's like our generation so coming into this generation. Yeah, yeah. So, so that was interesting. He's still doing the hammer across the... Still doing the hammer. the typewriter? Yeah. Is that yeah, what it was? Yeah. What was the it The typewriter. Called? That's what it know. called. No, it was the hammer or the, the typewriter or something. Okay. Um, I, I thought there was a huge um, uh, agenda push, um, obviously, with women. Yes. Um you know, we, we definitely want equality and uh, treating people with honor and respect. That's mm -hmm. what the Word of God talks about. Mm -hmm. um, Not to show partiality. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So I thought that was, I thought it was uh, tasteful in some standpoints, mm -hmm. but I also thought there was a, I thought there were some things where, you know, it came from more of a um, spiritual perspective perspective i thought even from a jezebel spirit yes. i thought that was yes. that was uh mm -hmm. i thought that was something that was very interesting and um mm -hmm. you know um you, you know there is the the uh there is the um gay agenda that mm -hmm. that's obviously pushed all the time you know you have that being pushed and you could see that through some of the commercials and things like that um but let's talk about the halftime show what did you think about the halftime show uh i thought it i thought the halftime show was very uncomfortable as a woman and um is very um sexualized and um uh you know, I appreciate the dance skills because I like to dance. You mm -hmm. know, dancing is one of the things that I do enjoy, but mm -hmm. it does dancing does not have to be sexually charged. Mm -hmm. So it's not something that, you know, I would um this it wasn't really enjoyable. So Wow. You know, man, the halftime, you know, first you have, you know, Shakira coming out and um that was that was sexual sexual exploitation mm -hmm. sexual exploitation there um because all you saw you saw nothing but gyrating you saw nothing but hips and booty and and all of that mm -hmm. you, you, that's all you saw you know and then j-lo comes out and she's on a stripper pole mm -hmm. i've never seen a stripper pole um on a, I've never seen a stripper pole. Have you ever seen a stripper pole on a national no, stage like that? They're usually in a stripper club where adults go that want to see a woman that's naked come down a pole. Yeah. <laughs> Not children. But that's in front of the, that was in front of the American audience. Yeah. And she brought her daughter up on the stage. Um... Uh, there were so many um, crotch shots. Yeah. 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 Uh, listen, if their goal was to provide, um, remember, remember, um, remember um, uh, the movie um, A Christmas Story. Mm -hmm. And he says, um, he says, uh, sexual, uh, electric sex yes. <laughs> with, with, with the, yes. with the leg with lamp, the leg, with the with leg, the leg lamp. lamp, um, uh, uh, electric sex. Remember that? Yes. If they wanted to provide, uh, their goal and their agenda was to provide us with that, um, then they definitely, they definitely get they definitely get an A plus 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 on that. Yeah, I think uh, you they know, definitely did it. They they they, did. they provided and it's to desensitize. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Yeah, I think um, you know, as uh, as the body of Christ, we mm -hmm. have to be careful because the world agenda mm -hmm. will do what they do. Where'd they get that from? Yeah, they got it from Satan. Yeah, Satan is the god of this world, and what they did is they they received that information mm -hmm. from Satan. And then they went out and demonstrated that. Only the devil would tell them to do that. Yeah, and it's to desensitize us, to get us to lower 
um, our standard as yep. um, the body of Christ. Like, yep. okay, if that's the direction the world wants to go, yep. maybe I, maybe my convictions are too strong. Maybe I am yep. too rigid. Yep. You know, so it tries to get us to um, not have higher standards and not to have higher morals. Yep. And what it does to women in the body of Christ is mm. it tries to get us to compromise yep. our modesty. Listen, yep. I I love to look good. I love to look beautiful. Yep. I think women should maintain their femininity. Yep. That is very important to me as a woman and the first lady of a church. Yeah. But we don't um, have to be sexually charged. Goodness so gracious. what it does as a Christian woman, if you don't have strong convictions, yep. it will try you to, it'll it'll try to get you to question yep. your modesty and yep. get you to compromise and okay maybe I'll wear this and yep. maybe I'll show this yep. because this is what's popular. So it tries to get you. It, it will challenge your convictions and wow. it will try to desensitize you absolutely and and the men too yeah i mean think about the men watching that yeah. those are those are triggers those are men are very visual and um and, and so here's the thing here's the oxymoronic thing about society and our culture mm -hmm. wanting people to respect women mm -hmm. but putting women mm -hmm on display mm. in a sexually charged demonstration mm. now that's oxymoronic yeah, that, is. that is only that is so wicked yeah, and it's is. so demonic yeah and so you and then and then the children right yeah. there you know j-lo's daughter's right there yeah. and so so she's up there so um really really disappointed in the nfl disappointed in um, you know, the, the demonstration, I mean, it's like, it's like somebody, it's like this, it's like, do you look in the mirror before you go outside? Did you, mm. didn't you know you were wearing that? Somebody from the NFL, didn't you know that the Super Bowl halftime show looked like that? Mm. I mean, wasn't there like a practice and you knew, well, so of course they knew. And that's what they wanted to demonstrate. Mm -hmm. So, uh, that's our thoughts for the day. Listen, like, and, uh, like this video, share it, subscribe to our YouTube page. Thanks for jumping on. Visit Empowering Word Christian Center Sundays at 11 a.m., Wednesday nights at 7 p.m. God bless you. Have a great day.